video microanalysis and audio microanalysis, we say, operates like a social microscope and lets you see things at a level of detail that you really can't pick up in real time. So really what we study, we study communication. By breaking it down into these tiny little moments, by coding things second by second, we've figured out that we can detect aspects of communication that really you can't detect any other way. In the early 90s, I started a study of the origins of attachment. We had 84 babies who came back in a year. And so we were able to predict the difference between babies who were going to end up secure at a year versus one of the different types of insecure. Once we had the findings, I wanted to go back and see what they looked like. So I did these frame-by-frame -frame analyses for myself. And then I realized that there's something there that we haven't had a way of knowing before. And so the idea of the picture book came from how can I protect these mothers and babies' uh, identities, protect their confidentiality, but find a way to show what these interactions look like moment by moment if they're going to end up secure or insecure or disorganized. For this study, when we're studying the visual variables, we study two and a half minutes of uninterrupted face-to-face -face play as, as close to the beginning as possible. Yet two and a half minutes contains an enormous amount of information because two and a half minutes is 150 seconds. Each second has information about the mother's facial motion and the baby's facial motion. The mother's touch and the baby's touch. The mother's looking, looking away, the baby's looking, look away. The mother's orientation, upright, forward, loom, and the baby's orientation from vis-a-vis. -vis. Everything that you're going to see when I present a mother and the baby, you're going to see the mother and the baby side by side, but you have to remember they're really face to face. There are two cameras on the wall. One's going to be on the mother's face, one can, one's going to be on the baby's face. It's going to generate a split screen view. And all the babies in our studies are four months. So now we are going to look at a video of an actual mother, not drawings. I'm going to show you the video of this mother and baby in real time, and then I'm going to show you a frame-by-frame -frame analysis. Hello. How are you today? <laughs> are you my yabba, yabba, yabba? You got bubbles. You got bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> Did we wake you up? We put you in the car and you fell asleep. And then we got here, yeah. And we woke you up. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> really? Are you sure? Oh my goodness, you still have bubbles. I see them. <laughs> yeah. still have them. I'm now going to go into a very small portion of what you saw. You saw about a minute, and I'm going to show um, 17 frames across 23 seconds. Our job is to see if we can see more from the frame-by-frame -frame analysis than we were able to see in real time. Because in real time, they look like just a gorgeous pair. And it's pretty obvious that the baby is pretty happy. But I'm going to show you something fascinating. You see the baby's head slightly move up into his left, and the mother's head goes up. So both their heads go up together. Now you see the baby's left hand move. And you see his feet move. And he smiles. And the mother smiles also. So they, their heads go up together, they smile together, and the baby moves his feet and his hands. Now, six to seven, it's about a second, the heads go down together. The baby's feet move again, the baby's left hand moves. But notice something very sneaky, subtle. The very edge right edge of the baby's frame, you begin to see the mother's hand. See the mother's hand come in there? Right over his foot, that's her hand. Now from seven to ten, she's moved it back. See, that was her right hand. Now she's moved it back. 
but now you see her left hand entering the frame. From 7 to 10, see her left hand, the bottom of the baby's frame? And notice that from 7 to 10, you see the baby's left hand splay out. The mother goes into mock surprise. And it looks like something maybe has surprised the baby. His left hand splays out, and the mother's moving her hand in. Now, from 10 to 17, you now see the mother's hand in the left side of the baby's body, reaching for the baby's right hand. And the baby's left hand has come down. The mother's face has a kind of um, a little bit closed mouth, a little bit of a hint of um, something positive, but it's very different from the mock surprise. And the baby looks kind of like an interest face. From 17 to 18, one second later, see the baby's eyebrows go up? See the mother's eyebrows go up? So together, they're surprised. Now, 18, so 1805 to 1825, within that second, like within about a half a second, the mother goes, oh, what happened? See that a look on her face, like a little furrow in her brow, sort of somewhat open mouth. And see how the baby goes, I don't know. See, he has like a little bit of a frown face. I don't know. And she goes, next from 18 to 19, half a second later, she goes, oh, I'm sorry. See a little bit of a woe face? Oh, I'm sorry. Ooh. And the baby says, yeah, it's bad. Oh, she has a little bit of a hint of a grimace, one-sided grimace. Now, from 1903 to 1913, so that's about a quarter of a second, the mother goes, oh, well, maybe it's not that bad. I see the little hint of a smile on her face. And he says, I don't know. He just moves his head a little, so he still has a little kind of frowny, grimacy face. I don't know. And then 1913 to, to 20, so about a half a second later, she goes, Oh, yeah, I think it's okay. She has a little smile, and he says, I don't know. I think I still think I'm, I'm not okay. And then he goes, okay. Okay. I think it's okay. And she's big smile. Okay, so we're skipping three seconds. He goes, yeah, I think I'm okay. Left hand comes up again. He picks his head up, and then one second later, He's still kind of saying, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good. Picks his head up, mouth is just a little widened, not quite a smile, pretty good. She says, yeah, I think you are. 24, 25, he has a funny look. He goes, yeah, I like you. And she goes, oh. And then 25 to 27, he says, I really like you. Like, nice smile. And she says, that's great. Okay, now that we've seen a real-time mother in real video and her frame-by-frame -frame analysis, now we're going to turn to some drawings from the book. This is the very first set of drawings called facial mirroring. This is how they start. The mother with just a little bit of an open mouth and the baby just a little bit of an open mouth. You have to get used to the fact that you are seeing two drawings. Now we're going to watch two frames in a row from here to here. Now I'm back, forward, back forward, back, forward. Learn to look by first looking at the baby. Watch the baby's mouth slightly widen. Just a hint of a smile from here to here. Back, forward. Watch that smile. Just a little bit of a smile and see his eyes focus a little more. Now go back and watch the mother from here to here, from here to here, from here to here. So she starts with a slightly open mouth, a little bit uh, naturally wide, and then she kind of purses it toward a little bit of a partial kiss. Now I'm going to give you frame two to three. Two to three. Two to three. Two to three. In that frame, now the baby, watch the baby first, from here to here. Back forward. Back forward. From here to here. The baby starts to smile. And the mother goes into a open mouth face. <gasps> Now the next. Baby's still smiling, and you can see that the baby's finger is wrapped around the mother's finger, and the mother's pulling her finger down, and the mother is start, breaks out into a big smile from here to here. Now we're going to go forward to here. 
The mother's head goes down. She sort of loses a bit of her smile. The baby uh, moves back and his hand comes out. From here to here, the baby looks down. And the mother's mouth just a little bit tightens. She closes it. The baby looks down. Because what's going to happen now is the baby's going to look down, down, down. See this? This is a sequence of the baby looking down. So that's what's happening here. And see the mother react. First, her head goes down. She pulls back with a little tensing of the mouth. And here she starts to poke. She goes, right, poke in the belly. So what's going to happen here is very fascinating. Here's the final moment where the baby looks all the way down, closes his eyes completely, puts his head down, closes his mouth, completely closed. Now, right here, the baby starts to look back, and the mother here says, wow, right? Great, great. But the baby looks away, looks down again. Right here, the baby looks down. And see the mother react? She goes, Mm. She closed her mouth and moved back a little. Mm. She's surprised. She didn't know that was going to happen. Now the baby looks back again, and her smile is not as big as the last time. She's closer to where the baby is, and she stays with the baby more. And now they successfully come back together and go back up and up and up and up. It's beautiful. So I'm hoping that people will um, go and read the book and that this DVD will have really helped them understand the book and help them now imagine movement as they see the drawings. And I hope the book helps people understand their communication with their babies and how their babies communicate with them.